optical components in non-sequential ZMAX are defined using three-dimensional objects. If you've used ZMAX before, you know that there are a large number of objects that are already built into the software, things like lenses, prisms, CPCs. ZMAX is used at the cutting edge of optical system design, so there's always going to be a need for object shapes that we haven't thought of. The script object and the script object editor breakthrough features in ZMAX IE allow users to create complex geometries when the need arises. These provide a powerful and straightforward way to define parametric objects in ZMAX. Let me show you how. Here we have the script object editor. On the left side, we can see the script defined line by line, and on the right side, we can see the object that we've created. At the top of the script, we have parameter statements, which make certain variables visible in the NSC editor. We can define things like cubes and arrays and many other geometries. In the script language, we can define things like cubes and arrays and other geometries. And we can do operations like unions, differences, and chamfers. Clicking on individual lines in the script allows us to see the script on a line-by-line -line basis. We can see the object built up at each step, and we can easily go back and modify the object if necessary. Once we've defined the object as we like, we can save the script and open it up inside ZMAX. In ZMAX, we would go into the Object Properties dialog, define a script object, and select the same script file that we just saved. Once the script file is loaded, we'll be able to see it here in the shaded model exactly as it appears in the script editor. We'll also be able to see the parameters called out in the NSC editor. Here you can see the object exactly as it was defined in the script editor, and here are those parameters that can be modified in the NSC editor. If I change a value, ZMAX will update the script and regenerate the object to show us what the new object looks like. For such a complex object as this, it only takes a few seconds for ZMAX to regenerate. And here we have that same object with smaller holes in it. This is the script object and the script object editor, and we've now defined a new object inside ZMAX. So there you have it. We have a simple, effective way to create complex optical geometries in ZMAX 12. We can create the parts that we need with fully parametric geometry that can be quickly enhanced for any shape that we need. We can also use ZMAX's optimization engine to optimize these parameters. The script object and script object editor are just some of the breakthrough features in ZMAX 12 IE.